Welcome back to my channel. Today I have my current top five favorite high-end foundations. My top five. Now I have like 30 more. I'm kidding. Uh, maybe like 10, 15 more. But these I have been using almost throughout the whole year and have really, really enjoyed them. And so I just wanted to share with you, keep you all current and what it is that I'm using. And I do have another question for you guys. I always like to be like really nice and dressed up and makeup up and pretty for you guys here on camera to film, but it would be easier for me if I don't do that all the time only because I don't get ready and do my makeup every day anymore, especially with triplets. So leave me in the comment section if y'all don't mind if I just come in in my workout clothes, no makeup and talk about stuff because that's my reality. I am a mom of uh, 20 month year old triplets and makeup every day has gone out the door only on special occasions but I will be if I have an event like I'm gonna do Christmas pictures and I'm gonna go to baby shower when I do my makeup on those occasions I will film for you so let me know in the comment section if y'all are cool with that right I mean if y'all don't mind me not having any makeup on some of the other videos anyway let me get a little bit back here uh, let's get started. So I do need to say that um, I currently have a favorite foundation. My top favorite foundation right now is, and I want to talk to y'all about that one first. I know that should probably be the last one, but because I've been using this one lately and because I do want to do a demo for you right now because I absolutely love it. I, I don't... It's an old foundation and I just kind of came across it. I really don't know how old it is, but um, I just kind of stumbled upon it by chance. So here it is. This is a Lancome um, Ultra 24 Hour Makeup with SPF. It says wear and comfort, retouch free makeup, divine perfection, and it's for all skin types. I'm in the color 370 Bisque. So this is the box right here. And I stumbled across this because I did purchase a Lancome foundation stick and it just made my skin look extremely dry all the time and I didn't like it. I don't know why. I do own, which I'm going to talk about right now, another foundation stick that I absolutely love. And that one doesn't make my face look parched, like super dry. And so I went, I only used it a couple of times. I didn't feel the color matched me. And when I went in, I told, I don't know how, but this is the one I came across. This is the Lancome one. This is the one I'm talking about. And I said, you know what? I want that foundation. I've heard great reviews on Ulta and Sephora, and I want this. And so she did explain to me this is medium to full coverage, but I found that one pump can easily be light coverage, two pumps, medium coverage, three pumps, full coverage. It's really what you want. And what I like about it is it's matte and I wore it on Thanksgiving day and it really held up like nine, 10 hours. But that I am gonna throw out that I do have combination skin, oily T-zone. And you know, I just, I would touch up my nose. I did notice my nose getting a little bit shiny, but uh, I don't mind doing that. Uh, I'm gonna do a demo for y'all right now so that you can see what it looks like live. I've used a brush and I've used a beauty blender. I like both applications. I feel if I do too much, like with any other foundation that I have, if I have, if I do too much with the brush, I go back in with my beauty blender and I blot it out. And what I love about this foundation is it doesn't accentuate my pores. A lot of these other foundations I'm going to talk to you about, they, you know, do I do have pores, you know, that show right here, but this one for some reason. It just really, it doesn't do that on me. I mean, I still have them and you can still see them, but they're not as prominent as with some of my other favorite foundations that I'm gonna talk about. Now, what is important is also your skincare. I've been playing with this foundation for almost a week and I have used different primers, different moisturizers, and there's nothing you can do. It's gonna be trial and error with you on the different, on your skin type and your moisturizers, what works well. What works for me, I'm gonna talk about it right now. Uh, every time after I get out of the shower, I use this Timeless 20% C plus E plus Ferulic Acid Serum. So a lot of people talk about this on YouTube. Now I know that Drunk Elephant, that's a Sephora brand, has one. I paid $15 for this and I think the one by Sephora, or not by Sephora, by Drunk Elephant is like $70 to $90. I really like the way this makes my skin feel. If you're looking for a product that has all those things in it and a great serum then I would say go, go purchase this on Amazon so there it is right there and I like it because it's a dropper you can um, 
you can see what it is, determine how much you're gonna put onto your skin. I usually do about a nickel size dime. And I do that because I actually put it all over my neck and whatever's left on my fingers or anything, I just roll it down my arms. Next, these two um, moisturizers that I've been using because they're samples and I get them in my Play Sephora box. And I notice that with that foundation, with the Lancome foundation, when I use this all-in-one egg mellow cream, and I really like the idea of this moisturizer because it's a freaking multitasker. It's an all-in-one collagen-infused firming moisturizer. It's a moisturizer, it's a serum, it's a primer, but I did notice that with that foundation, my skin did get oil more oil than usual. So I stopped using it with this one, and then I went with this Caudalie. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is a um, cream, sor a moisturizing sorbet. Like I said, I jump around between moisturizers and see what works for my skin because I get so many samples in my Sephora play box, but, and they're all great products. So, um, primers. I have played around with different primers. Let me show you what I've played around with uh, when I've been using this. And I'm still gonna continue to play around but there's two of them that have worked great for me. So I used the Professional by Benefit. I used the Hourglass Mineral Veal by Hourglass. I used the Smashbox Oil-Free Hydrating Primer right here, and then I used the NYX Angel Veal. These two, the Benefit and Hourglass, are the ones that have worked so far in really keeping and mattifying me with the occasional nose right here not so much here but just here and with these two with Smashbox and NYX I noticed that I did get oily more this way the nose and this way so these two have been uh, the been the winners so far I do have a couple of maybe three or four more primers I'm gonna play around with and I'll just give you guys an update on another video but anywho enough talking let's go to the demo I did already uh, moisturize my face I'm gonna go ahead and use the professional for right now to show you how it looks and they were able to color match me really 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 well now I do use and this is a holy girl guys I've been trying to find a drugstore product for you and I bought one from NYC and it just makes me break out so bad and this is a loose powder that's a loose powder, but the one that I love is a Laura Mercier translucent powder. I have been trying out a bunch of other high-end translucent powders and nothing is as good as this. And I know it's $40, but the reality is there's so much product in here that you won't go through with it. Maybe it'll be like six, seven, eight months and you'll still have plenty more. So uh, just invest in it. If you really like makeup, invest, invest in it. You're gonna just love the way it goes over your foundation. And like I said, I'm using NYC one from the drugstore. It's a couple of dollars, but um, it makes me break out. So I don't like it. And it makes my skin look more dry than what it really is. So, all right, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender for today because that's my preferred method with this foundation. Like I said, I love it. It has a pump. Uh, I'm going to show you all. I'm going to go in with one pump and um, just kind of put it everywhere and then just start. Like I said, one pump if you just want to look natural yet still matte. I think this is going to photograph extremely well. I haven't tried it in pictures yet, but I will when I do my Christmas pictures. So let me zoom in a little bit here. So that's one layer. Okay, I'm gonna go in with another pump to show you the second layer. Okay, so that's with one pump. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the second pump. My hair, you guys, worked out this morning, so it's on dry shampoo right now. It was kind of cool outside, so I didn't really sweat. That means I need to start drinking more water. All right, that's with a second pump. Let me zoom in a little bit. I just. I really like the finish of this and it's just so mattifying and so pretty and still I mean you can still see my freckles which you know that's always good that's two layers uh, I love it what can I say and if you feel like you need a foundation I'm not I can't tell you if it's a 24 hour foundation but for sure it's a nine hour foundation and it did not um, 
it didn't break up on me. It didn't settle into, uh, that's another thing. It didn't settle into my fine lines till hours later. I mean hours later, because I was really clocking each time I was uh, going to check up on it. So yes, I love it. It's beautiful, super matte. I think it will photograph beautifully. Another thing that the sales uh, lady at um, Ulta told me was that you don't have to set this with a powder. I used it both ways and I prefer it with a powder. So um, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna continue guys like this because we gotta get rolling here, okay? Kids are asleep. Okay, so that's my current favorite foundation okay my second foundation that i've been loving is the ysl fusion ink foundation which is this right here this one's kind of weird because it has a wand but this feels extremely skin like extremely skin like and this this one also gives you a mattifying uh look and it looks very second skin it just applies beautifully on the skin. I love this one and it really dry, it goes down to, to powder, kind of like a powder form. I do set this, um, but yeah, I mean, look at how great that actually went into my skin. So I love that, love this YSL foundation. I will probably repurchase this once it is done. My third favorite foundation, so th those two are matte and I think I have one more matte and then two dewy. So, um, my third favorite foundation is the Too Faced Born This Way Absolute Perfect Foundation. I'm in the color light beige. This is a presentation right here. A lot of times when, excuse me, when I get asked, oh, you know, or not so much asked, but they tell me your, you know, your skin looks really, really nice. Um, it's usually with this Too Faced one and the YSL that I just talked about. And I always tell them it's the Too Faced or it's a YSL. Uh, but yeah, this can be purchased at Sephora and Ulta. I love this one. It's also liquid and it really gives you a nice finish at the end. So still love that. My fourth favorite foundation, this is more on the dewy side, Sheer Glow, and I'm in the color Stromboli, which is this right here. This is a beautiful, beautiful glow. And you just, I don't like that it doesn't have a pump, but oh well. And that's what it is right there. I love this, like I said, when I want a nice glowy, yet nice coverage, beautiful foundation. Okay, so that's it right there. Lastly, my fifth favorite foundation has to be this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. Um, when I compared this to the Lancome one, I found that this was a lot more moisturizing and it I don't like it when a matte foundation makes your skin look more dry than what it already is. And that's what I like about these three current matte foundations that I have on my top favorite, that they don't do that to my skin. Um, but always, if you do have dry skin, please moisturize. And so I, I liked this because it, it gives me great coverage. It lets me adjust how much coverage I want. It's in a stick. It's a great on the go foundation. And I always just kind of throw it in my purse and when I need to touch up, this is what I use. Or if I need to do my makeup in the car, because hey, sometimes you need to, this is what I throw in. And I like it. I'm in the color Y365 MAC. MAC, what the shit? I was gonna say, oh, Sephora has it. So you can purchase this at Sephora currently right now. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in with me. I apologize for the lack of videos, but I can throw out more videos if y'all just let me come and be my natural mommy self in here because then I can film these quick short videos more often for you. So if you're okay with that, uh, leave me comments down below and let me know. So give this video please a one thumb way up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll Talk to you beauties later. Toodles.